Alrighty, so approximately five days ago, I dropped a video, this one here, that basically says, I think Carol Cookie is a waste. Well, I'm here to tell you that we potentially were wrong and we might have actually found a good use for Carol Cookie. Diving right in here, the first thing I need to do is show you guys Carol Cookie's skill. Checking out the skill here, if we scroll down, obviously by base value, it's at a 16 second cooldown. But if we look at all of the modifiers, basically the things that the, her skill actually does, the very first one is healing, right? You can see for 151.5% of attack, we will receive healing as the ally cookies. Not only that, we've got a crit percent buff, so she's gonna be providing a 15% increase to our crit chance for 15 seconds. And then we've got a crit damage damage increase buff, which is going to be provided by 12% for 15 seconds. And although the healing is very good, just up until this point, we haven't really seen a whole lot of value of utilizing Carol Cookie over other healers in the game until now. And that's going to bring us into the Cookie Alliance season 13. As you guys can see, we've got 26 days left and it just officially reset. And as always, when it comes to the Cookie Alliance, you've got to build five different teams in order for you to hopefully make it all the way through wave 60. And guess what the number one team is for this season and that's going to be this one here that's going to be purple yam and wildberry in the front eclair in the center we've got cream unicorn and then what do you know the brand new carol cookie we've got the old pilgrim scroll the scythe and then also the jelly watch now when it comes to the toppings wildberry is going to be running a full solid almond build alongside purple yam just stacking up as much damage resistance as you possibly can i would honestly say put more damage resistance or your best sets on purple yam over wildberry and then just feed wildberry whatever you have left over. Eclair Cookie is also going to be running a full solid almond build. This one I would try to get at least that 4% to 5% cooldown, and then the rest of it once again stacked into damage resistance to aid in their survivability. Cream Unity is going to be running a full apple jelly set. Again, this one is specifically designed to stack up damage resistance via substats as much as you possibly can, and this one's going to be designed to pop off crit healing, which yes, does heal for more than the standard heals. And then last but not least, the brand new Carol Cookie is going to be running a full swift chocolate build. This is going to be a balancing act between stacking damage resistance and a high amount of cooldown. Obviously, you can just literally go higher than this if your toppings do allow it. This is apparently what I just had in order to put on her. special rules section of every single season. In the bottom right hand side, you can see that if you click on special rules, these modifiers only affect this specific season. And we've got some really, really good ones. The very first one for season three is gonna be team crit damage increased by 20%. That means we're gonna, our crit damage that we do happen to pop off a of crit, it's gonna be doing increased damage of 20%. The second one here is gonna be charge cookies, okay? Get an additional 10% crit chance. So that gives them 10% more chance to hit a critical strike, thus also doing more damage from the first perk. So we're basically stacking the special rules from this season 13 of Cookie Alliance, you know, that crit percent and that crit damage buff on top of Carol Cookie's skill, which also provides the exact same buffs, obviously in different percentages, but they do stack and they do work insanely well together. So was I wrong about Carol Cookie being a total waste? Absolutely, I was completely wrong. However, however, I still think outside of this one example of Cookie Alliance for season 13, that I don't see a lot of value in swapping the Carol Cookie from other healers, at least not until they drop another update into the game, a buff for Carol Cookie, or maybe even a brand new cookie that potentially, you know, makes her insanely good. You guys let me know what your thoughts are down below. As always, if you have not cleared the Cookie Alliance Wave 60, stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed here to the channel. I am going to be dropping a video, yes, that is going to be full auto, a full auto Wave 60 clear that any and every single player should be able to clear for Season 13. With that being said, though, guys, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on the channel. I have a Discord. You will always find that link provided down below. And with that being said, I will see you guys on the next one.